hello everyone in today's video we are going to take a look at how we can create this drop down where you have a list of users that appear in the drop down dynamically in bubble so let's get started so heading over into the bubble editor i'm going right ahead and deleting the drop down so that we can start from scratch so now over to the side panel under the input forms we have a drop down option just like one we had previously so i'm going to click on it once over to the page and just clicking on it once and it's right there so now let's go ahead and center it horizontally so that is uh, done so i'm going to rename this to users because we are going to display a list of users so the placeholder it can be anything choose an option select an option it's totally uh, up to you and the choice style will be dynamic because we are going to be taking data from the database which i'll show you in a minute so now it will be dynamic choice and type of choice will be user because that will be the database table name and the choice source will be uh, we are going to be doing a search for a list of users so now i'm going to go ahead and click on that and it will give you this the type will be users and yeah so now and the option caption would be uh, which will be displayed in place of choose an option um, will be the user's name so now i'm going to click on more and you can select uh, any one of it and we have uh, first and last which will be the first name and the last name first so now i'm going to just stick to first right now uh, for now so that is sorted so now let's go over to the data uh, tab right here and as you can see head over to data types and we already have a list of fields which it comes default with bubble when you create an app uh, we have first first last last and we also have email which is like the default of fields that you get so now let's go over to app data and fields modified all users so i previously created few uh, fields as you can see right here i have entered a new entry from the database by clicking on new entry right here let's go back so to create a new entry you can simply click on new entry and all of the fields that we previously saw uh, is over here so now let's go ahead and click on uh, first and you can type in a name so now i'm just going to do rio and let's put in dean so now scrolling down i'm going to just fill in the email uh, section right here uh, which is rio at uh, no code.com as a sample uh, email and i'm going to go ahead and click on create so it's been created got it so let's go ahead and create a few more like that so now we have a total of uh, about five we have five names which is pretty good so now let's go over to the design section right here and let's go ahead and preview it right now so now it's refreshed so i'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down and here you can see that uh, all six of them are here and as you can see let's go over to data and you can see the number of uh, entries right here like if you have a long list of entries and you don't know how many entries are here you can just simply uh, see here and show you how many entries you have so we have six and uh, we have six here which is pretty cool so now you can just click on it and it will select it and everything is from the database which is pretty cool so uh, yeah so i hope you learned something from this video and i will see you in the next one